wonder how many more will turn up.
Greetings. I shall pray for you. Mutant. Regards. Blessed be the eternal Regards. fire. Regards. I remember you from Vizima. Immortal light. How many more can there be? special. At your service. Tell me what you know about those gargoyles that are bothering you. They were servants of the mages who once lived in Loch Muin. The mages left, but the gargoyles remained behind. They're still lethal. The quarters they guard are simply inaccessible. I got rid of the gargoyles. Excellent. At last we can explore the hitherto inaccessible districts. And here's your reward. I found a manuscript that might help. Interesting. This volume is sealed by ancient magic. Only highly valuable things get that kind of protection. Too true. Do you know how to unlock it? I'd need ingredients that can be obtained from certain monsters. Unfortunately, they don't occur around here. I'll need the pheromones of a Queen Endriga. The blood of a Necker warrior and the brain of a bullvor. We can substitute the tongue of a rot fiend for the harpy's egg. Quite a list. I'll see what I can find. I have the ingredients you mentioned. Unbelievable. Give them to me. We must get the proportions right. Done. Let's see what's in the manuscript. 
by the gods. What did you find? Instructions. A description of how to forge the legendary sword known as Kem. The sword will be yours. You deserve it, Witcher. I will consider forging it an honor. Thanks. So long. Hey there!
What's he doing here? What's he doing here?
White Wolf. Ready for your chat. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass then, if your news is so important. But one word from the King and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Temerian stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kidwin. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I'd take pleasure in seeing Kedwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country Greetings. deepest in chaos, so you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Oh, hey! Greetings! Whoever here we you chat are. idly while someone out there is walking around I in my pants. Like it here. Stay away. Greetings! Whoever you are. Ah, welcome. Did you request an audience with the King? Yes. The King will receive you. I don't like it here. Oh, hey! Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Associating with military men doesn't make one a mercenary, Your Grace. I'm no soldier. I'm here to settle some scores. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Pontar Valley by force and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. What's the delegation from Nilfgaard doing here? Hensult invited them. Shillard Fitzestelen would never miss an opportunity like this one. He'll come to the talks and stage his favorite drama. Why did you bring the Knights of the Order here, Your Majesty? The Order of the Flaming Rose is here to ensure that the talks remain peaceful. We wish to avoid a second Thanad. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensolt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right?
Why do you ask about him, Your Majesty? Mere curiosity. But I understand if you'd rather not talk about it. Enough about Henselt. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. If Temeria is in turmoil, then who has arrived to represent it? Constable Natalis, the hero of Brenner, which is good. His presence is like a slap on Shillard's face delivered by the North. Has King Henselt arrived? <sighs> He's been talking about his great victory at Vergen ever since. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Temeria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? I don't have any proof, but it's her. You've got to believe me, Your Majesty. Let's say I believe you. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelin warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Temeria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Temeria separates the north from Nilfgaard. In the hands of local barons and warlords, it will be nothing more than a means for the Nilfgaardian cavalry to gain momentum. Henselt wants Redania and Kedwin to partition it. For shame! I have no choice, unless we help each other, Witcher. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After Foltest's death, the Lavalettes came to prominence. Louisa's uncle, Baron Orville, became one of the most important people in Temeria. He wanted to see Anais on the throne, but Vizima was still in turmoil. They sent her to Loch Muin anyway to declare her queen before the entire north. During the journey, the girl was kidnapped. Arian Lavalette asked me to use my connections to find his sister, which I did. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt and I'll salvage a united Temeria, and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. What about Sheila? Easy, Witcher. I have ways to deal with impertinent sorceresses. I have managed to tame Philippa Eilhart. Why shouldn't I do so with Sheila de Tanzerville as well? The girl is most important, Witcher. I would look after her. Take her back to Tretagor in Redania, where she would mature under the caring gaze of her half-sister and my wife Ada. When she's of age, she can claim the throne and thus guarantee Temeria's sovereignty. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, Promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. The alliance with Redania is our only chance of preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmold. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate.
I'm counting on you, Witcher. Don't let me down. Greetings. That's What's he doing here? here? Oh, hey! Get out of here! Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Papabrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another vess? This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Voltaire's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Boosie is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Faltists' bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all. Geralt, I need to look to Anais. Learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Busi. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. All right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedweni camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida. Learn what she can. I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Loch Muin through the Order's camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go onto the river. Who knows what we'll find? Geralt the Richard. I shall pray for you. Blessed be Madame the Madame eternal Madame. fire. The men can go into the Temerian camp. Uh, uh, them. I guess I have to beg for an interesting challenge. I have to fly back. Not going well. Too early to pry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon me. The main path leads to the right. That's where they're likely to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I've agreed to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. 
It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? A smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. It's roaches, bitch! Kill them! This is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. You'll not sail off, you whore! Kill her!
thank you. I'd not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Who's out to kill you? I don't know. There you go again. Truly, I cannot be sure. At first I thought it was revenge for the children. But he knows I'm no traitor. It's not Roach. We both know that. Yes, yes. You're right. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander. A change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turn-off, we were attacked. The attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. It was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Boosie's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They merely grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I have them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor. I remember you from Vizima. Blessed be the eternal. I remember you from Vizima. It's you! I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Who 
was that thug I passed in the doorway? He's of no concern to you. People like him sometimes do stupid things. Did I ask for your opinion on the matter? The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I send no such letter. You're lying, Baron. Watch your words, Wanderer. One nod from me and my people you with arrows before you can use any of your witcher's tricks. What are you waiting for? To hear the details of your slander. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? I have it. Show me. I need you to promise. What? That I'll get the letter back. I tire of your tone, Witcher. Damn. So be it. I pledge to return the letter to you. I merely want to see this original with my own eyes. It is my seal, but the hand is forged, sloppily. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. We are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Tamerian noble and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. It's you! Sure. Sure. Hmm? Hush! Oh. Water quenches lime like beer. Drunker than a bard. Won't get anything out of him. Maybe there's something about testing letters in his notes. Young alchemist, do as you order. I das it to water. I don't know any of these substances. Best not risk destroying the letter. Maybe there's a formula for the activator in the scribe's notes. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of bird guano. Wait for it to dissolve. I need to add burnt lime to the flask, then quench it with water. Add bird guano to that, heat it, then capture the vapors and run them through cold water to obtain the final substance. All right. Let's try this on Kimbold's letter. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of bird guano. Wait for it to dissolve. It smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbold had nothing to do with this. You 
You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yeah. Yeah, it's all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Wien, his people began visiting the Nelfgaardian camp. Regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the Ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Natalis. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. How do I locate this messenger? Look for my man, Aldridge, by the fountain here in the camp. He'll point the mage out to you. You need a witcher to do this? Do not underestimate Count Maravel. He does not employ common scoundrels, and I don't intend to either. Hieronymus Lash. Sound familiar? A pretentious, invented name. Belongs to a bard or a mummer, I'd say. But you wouldn't need my help with either of those, so I'll venture a guess. Maravel entrusts his correspondence to a mage. I knew you were suited to this task. The magic barrier placed over the city mutes all forms of high magic, preventing Lash from contacting Shillard remotely. He nevertheless remains dangerous. During the times of the previous conclave, I believe he was caught practicing black magic. He faced execution, but that Laos Maravel saved him. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. Are you gear? We're off to hunt. It's you! You've charmed the Baron, but that don't mean I trust you, Wanderer. Remember that. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it. Kings. 